सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक वन सर कैन एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी आस्क यू क्वेश्चन हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट क्लिप्स किप और समथिंग लाइक दैट ऑन स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन और हैव यू एवर ट्राई टू एक्सपेरिमेंट विद द क्लिप्स किप वॉट इट इज हाउ इट वर्क एंड वाई इट इज यूज लेट मी टेल यू गाइज आई विल आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो बट रिमेंबर वन थिंग डोंट स्किप एनी थिंग इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइज बिफोर बिगनिंग विद द क्लिप्स किप इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस ऑप्शन ऑन योर ऑटोमेटिक वन 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 इट इज वेरी इजी जस्ट गो ऑन टू दिस settings and in the settings menu go on to user interface and on user interface you can type this thing okay that's the only thing that you need to do and apply the settings and reload the ui that's the only thing that you need to do in order to get this settings vae and clipscape setting Actually guys I was just curious about what is clipscape so I was just trying with the different values as you can see clip skip 12 10 8 6 5 4 3 2 1 so that were the various values that i was trying and for this in order to try i was just using x y z plot over here clip skip on this section x type and these were the values that i was using 12 10 8 6 so these were the values that i using and why 12 and let me tell you guys so the reason why i went on with the 12 value is because as you can see on clip skip the maximum is 12 value and the minimum is one value so So what are these value these are not values guys these 12 are 12 different layers so basically there are 12 different layers in which stable diffusion is working so that's what i learned first of all and i will explain you in detail what are these layer so in order to learn this thing i was just going on to various of the website in order to learn this thing i will paste the link of this website on the description or comment section you can go through this link but let me explain you what it is as i said guys there are total 12 layers and all of the layers Has has different different information stored in it, and in this, this guy has literally explained it in a simple term. I will explain you. There is an example going on over here. As I said that there are total of twelve layers. This is just an example. Okay, guys. So look into it closely. So if layer one has an information stored about the person, what person, which person, is it male or female? It's not stored in it. It is only stored in it that the prompt is targeting toward the person. So if I simply explain you in the prompt terms. so if you go on to typing prompt like a male or a female prompt on the layer 1 it will detect that this is something related to a person the prompt is something related to a person and then on layer 2 as i said that each layer has different data stored in it or as you can say different information stored in it so is it a male or a female it will decide on layer and then if you go on to add male if male is on your prompt then it will go on to decide on the third layer just like layer 3 it will decide that the prompt is related to the male and it could be a man or a boy or a lad or a father or a grandpa whatever it could be so it will decide on layer 3 if it's a young boy young man or a old man or a old father or something like that so it will decide on layer 3 so basically clip skip has 12 different layers and each of the different layer has different different information stored in it so i was just experimenting on this thing and i had so many result generated over here as you can see clip skip 1 clip skip 2 clip skip 3 clip skip 4 so i was just experimenting with this thing but first we will focus on the prompt before going on to the result i will show you so as you can see i was very prompt specific so you can see over here first let's focus on the prompt you can see my prompt was photorealistic photo of a handsome male wizard so that was the thing that i was focusing the next thing and the very important thing it should be a white wizard or something like a white beard or something like that so that was the second thing that i was focusing on and it was also a shirt with a golden trim specified over here and then white robe as well and then white hair as well and white beard as well and then blue eyes as well so these were the specific the things that i was focusing and the first thing let me tell you the first result that i was generating as you can see over here these were the result that i was trying and you can see this was the order 1 2 3 and 4 this was the order and look closely because it's very deep and i will explain you in very detailed terms so my prompt as i said the main focus was wizard male and white and golden trim and something like that so as you can see the result over here as it was going on to increasing this clip skip like 4 you can see the result were totally not like a wizard it was totally like a real man not compared to on clip skip 1 so that were the result that i was getting and i generated so many result just like this also you can definitely see over here on clip skip 4 compared to clip skip 1 it's totally like a real man not 
like a wizard i generated so many result in this as well you can see over here as you can see the eyes also over here it's very detailed like blue eyes i was focusing on blue eyes as well white hair and white beard as well so this is when i started realizing that the more i was get going with the more skips the more the result i was getting was away from the prompt so that why that's what i started realizing as you can definitely see the result over here most of the result on clip skip 4 was not following my prompt so what it is i was still confused what it is doing and why it is like this actually at this time i was just preferring the first example as i showed showed over here so this was the example i was trying and yeah so then i started to add more values to it you can definitely see i started to add like 12 values and on 12 value i saw that it's totally not what i was expecting and then i started adding the values over here as well as you can see i started adding 8 value over here and this is totally not a wizard just a gentleman wearing a suit over here so that was the result that i was getting and i was generating so many results over here you can definitely see just a man over here and then i started messing on with the different models as well as you can see this was the art and arrows model that i was working and this was the dream shaper model in order to learn things very deeply you can definitely see over here this is when i realized why it is working like this and what it is and how it is working so i just change on to the order after reading on to more of the web pages just like this web pages in these web pages what i learned this is the original automatic 1111 you can definitely find the information on this web page it's literally written over here clip skip is a very advanced neural network that transform your prompt text into numerical representation okay we are not focusing on this now see this as a clip is a neural network it means that it has a lot of layers just as i said there are total of 12 layers going on over here your prompt is dignitized in a simple way and then fed into those layer you can definitely this is a very important thing so definitely each and every layer has a different information stored in it this was the information on exactly how i learned that how clip skip is working so you can definitely see over here you get numeral representation of prompt after the first layer after the first layer you feed into the second layer you feed the result of that into the third and until you get the last layer and that's the output of the clip that is used in the stable diffusion this is exactly where i learned about how clip skip is working that's why the reason I went on to the reverse order as I said earlier that I went on with 1 2 4 and I found out that it was going away from my prompt and then I started realizing after reading from that web page that it is working totally differently so that's why I went on to like decreasing order just like 5 4 3 2 1 as you can see and over here as well you can definitely see I went on with like 12 10 8 6 5 4 3 2 1 and I will explain you why I went on to the decreasing order as I said earlier earlier that guys that it is trying to learn each ev each and every information from each of the layers so basically it's trying to learn your prompt what is in your prompt just like an handsome male so it's trying to read this and it is trying to extract the information from each of the layer just like this you can definitely see it's an handsome male on 12th layer but not a wizard we are trying to focus on the wizard right and then on 12th layer there is no information as we said that we are going with white hair as well and white beard as well so as you can see on 10th layer it tried to add beard as well so basically on 10th layer as well there is no sign of wizard going on over here but yes it started to add some of the detail and as you go on you can definitely see it started to add more and more details over here as well so basically it's trying to extract each and every information related to your prompt so that's why i said guys earlier that prompt is very important thing first focus on the prompt so i was very specific with the prompt and and yeah this is when i realized each on the everything so as you can see as i go on to increasing things because in the clip skip 6 you can definitely see the result is pretty amazing but still not towards my prompt because my prompt was totally focusing on white wizard or white beard still not extracting because on layer 6 there is no information related to wizard related to white beard related to blue eyes as well you can definitely see if i show you eyes as well because on my prompt it was like blue eyes as well so there is no information
information about the blue eyes as well okay over here and then on level 5 you can definitely see layer 5 or clip skip 5 you can see over here it started getting something like wizard but still not very close we are not getting something like that and it's starting to add the details from previous layer okay one thing i uh, forgot to explain is that it's starting to learn from this layer and then add it into the next layer just like this it's adding the details and trying to extract more details and adding the details onto the previous layer as well so as you go on it will try to add the details on the previous image okay so that's how it is working so it is basically trying to learn things and it is trying to add the details onto this image so it will go towards the prompt so that's the first thing that i learned and as you go on see we got an handsome male over here as well but still we didn't got blue eyes as well i will show you more example but in this as well it was not focusing on the wizard but we got an amazing details over here we got the probes over here but still not blue eyes and then if i go on to three you can definitely see on three there is still an amazing result over here and yes on two as well it tried to get result just like a wizard style but still not a perfect wizard but yeah almost all of the result is the way i prompted and on layer one definitely you can see this was the final result that i got so definitely what it is doing is that it's trying to extract information from each of the layers and trying to generate the images okay so that's how clip skip is working so that's why guys some of the models just like this i was using dream shaper and i come on to civet ai you can see if you go on to the more information and you will see some of the model will say that it generates amazing result on clips too just like over here suggested settings you can see it has recommend that he has used a clip skip to over here so the reason to this is because and if i show you all of the result that i generated let me be clear until it gets to clip skip 2 just like most of the them suggested clip skip 2 gets better result right so until it gets to like 12 10 8 6 5 4 3 2 1 it will almost get all of the details from your prompt let me show you once again guys it will extract all of the details from your prompt into the clip skip 2 so that's the reason most of them suggest that clip skip 2 gets amazing result okay you can can go with without clip skip 2 as well on original you can definitely get amazing result yes let me show you other results as well just like this result as you can see over here uh, on clip skip 2 it has got almost all uh, the perfect result just like an a man with a white beard white hair and a cloak not a white cloak so basically this was the final result on clip skip 1 sometimes you will get amazing result on clip skip 2 as well just like on clip skip Three, you can definitely see this was definitely an amazing result but still no white beard over here so that was the result that i got and we will see the this result as well so this was the final result that i showed over here so that was the thing that i was wanted to explain and yes so that's the reason that i was showing and yes one more thing that i said so i was focusing on blue eyes right so you can see over here from these eyes there were no blue eyes you can see no blue eyes over here you can see no blue eyes you can see no blue eyes over here it started to get blue eyes over here just like a little bit and you can see blue eyes over here and blue eyes on the final image as well so that's what the information was the blue eyes information was not in these of the layers it's just like another result let me show you you can definitely see there was no blue eyes uh, these are dark images no blue eyes over here just like this and you can see no blue eyes over here as well this is clip skip 3 and as you can see over here on layer 2 it got blue eyes just like this and blue eyes on final image as well so that's it and one more result let me i will show you every result so you can easily get the information as i said there was no blue eyes uh, information on earlier layers see brown eyes it started getting somewhat like no this is a long uh, image but still there is no blue eyes over here and on clip skip 3 definitely it started getting blue eyes see so definitely that's how it is working it's trying to extract information from each of the layer and sending it to the next layer so that it can generate amazing result so that's how guys uh, how clip skip is working and this is the only thing that i learned from the clip skip so one thing that i learned is that clip skip 2 if i say which uh, you should prefer i think so clip skip 1 clip skip 2 and clip skip 3 that's the only three clip skip that i will recommend you to go with not above 4 because above 4 you won't get amazing result till layer 3 it's definitely amazing that's the one thing and the next thing that i wanted to tell you is that you should be great with the prompt 
keep the prompt as short and as simple and as informative as possible so you need to keep it as short as possible so that's was the two thing that i learned from the clipscape so yes guys that was the thing that i wanted to talk about clipscape i think so you can if i miss any of the topics if if you think this is a wrong information or if i miss anything then do let me know in the comment section below because yes i wanted to learn as well so that's the thing and yes, I will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day. Bye guys. Love you all guys. Bye guys.